Hi and happy Friday. For the last few weeks, we've been focusing on failure on Fridays, but for the next few weeks, I want to change it around and focus on fitness. So get ready for a new series for the next seven weeks. We're going to be talking about fitness every single Friday. Let's get shooting. Hi, and thanks for joining me for this episode of The Intersection. Today, again, I wanna start talking about fitness, and we're gonna do this every week on Friday, talk about some of the challenges of being an entrepreneur and staying fit and healthy and making sure that you exercise. Now, I have some pretty selfish reasons for wanting to do this series and why I'm saying the next seven weeks, because in that time, I'm gonna be leaving for spring break with my family, and I wanna get in a little bit better shape. So each week, I'm gonna chronicle how I did the week before, if I've lost any weight, and talk about some of the things I'm doing to help improve my fitness as I go through this cycle for the next seven weeks. Today I want to talk about the biggest challenge I'm currently facing as an entrepreneur in staying fit, and that is I feel like there's food everywhere and I want to keep eating it. Every time I go to a networking meeting, there's food involved. Every time I go to a client meeting, people want to meet at restaurants. I go upstairs into the kitchen to get something to drink from my home office, and there's delicious food in the refrigerator. My mom gave me a pie from Connor Prairie and every time I open up the refrigerator I see that and I want to eat another piece of it and I'm trying my hardest to resist but it's very tempting when you're around food all the time to want to eat some of it. Now I'm usually a person who has a lot of willpower. I once went 365 days in a row without eating a sweet. I wanted to lose weight and I knew if I would stop eating sweets that would help me achieve that goal. But for some reason, when you're working all day long and you're around food, it's so simple to just pick something up here and there. And the next thing you know, you've consumed a ton of calories that you didn't need to do. And when you're working a regular job where it's nine to five and you're in an office, there may not be as much food available. So it's a little bit easier to resist that temptation to eat all the time. So my challenge for this next week for myself, and if anybody, any of you want to join me in this challenge as well, is to not eat any sweets the entire week. Every time I want a snack, I'm going to pick up a piece of fruit. I'm going to eat some kind of a vegetable. I'm going to do something other than candy or that delicious pie that I really want to eat. I'm going to eat something that's a healthy choice, and I'm not going to eat any sweets the entire week until next Friday. The other goal I'm going to set for myself is that any networking meeting or any potential client meeting that I have, I'm not going to order anything unhealthy. If there's a salad on the menu, I'm going to get that. I'm going to make sure it's a healthy salad, not one of these ones where they smother it with ranch dressing and all kinds of other stuff that adds a million calories to it. I'm going to eat healthy at every meal. If I don't have that option, if they don't have something on the menu that I can't eat, then I'm just going to skip the meal there. I'm going to have a glass of water or something to drink and call it a day. But those two goals are going to be what I'm going to shoot for for next Friday. So when we have, when I do Fitness Friday next week, I'll fill you in on how I'm doing and also how much weight I've lost. I'll continue with my exercises I normally do. I usually run three to four times a week. I'm not going to change any of that, but I'm really going to work on eating correctly and making sure that I don't snack on sweets all week. Now in the coming weeks on Fitness Friday, I'm gonna focus on a bunch of different things. Next week, I wanna show you a healthy breakfast option that you can make. It's very easy to do, it's delicious. My wife and I make it a lot. I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's very low in calories. And I also know if you're on Weight Watchers, it's low in points. So I'll show you how to make that breakfast item. I also wanna try a couple of health challenges. I know my brother does something called the DMAC challenge that involves sit-ups and push-ups and jumping jacks and all kinds of crazy things. I'm not sure what all I'm gonna be doing, but I'm sure it's gonna be a shock to my system, but I'll, I'll try that for a week and report back how that works. So I hope you'll continue to join me. Hopefully you'll join in as well and try and get a little bit more fit as an entrepreneur. And maybe you can leave some comments on how you're doing. If you'd like to join me every week on Fitness Friday and you don't wanna miss an episode, head on over to my YouTube channel. You can go to brucemcclain.tv. It'll take you there, you can hit the subscribe button, and you'll be alerted every time I publish a new episode. And now I'll leave you with the quote I say, every single day you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Oh, off the front of the rim, I missed today, but I'm going to keep on shooting, and so should you. Have a great day.